Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. It is really very satisfying when we fix issues by our own and install Windows on our own. So I'll tell you how to create a USB bootable pen drive for Windows 11. It is really very easy to do and you just need to have a pen drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage and we will be together making a Windows 11 bootable pen drive so that in future if your computer goes bad you can reinstall Windows, you can repair your Windows, it will be very handy and very useful. So let's go ahead and do that. So here firstly we need the ISO of Windows 11 and how we can download that. So open any of your favorite browser and type download Windows 11 ISO. Once you have typed it, hit enter. Now the moment we do it, the very first result will come download Windows 11 Microsoft.com. Please make sure that you only visit Microsoft.com. So I'll click on that link and I'll just maximize it. Now here we have this Windows Installation Assistant create Windows uh, Windows 11 installation media and download download Windows 11 disk image. So here I'll select Windows 11 multi edition ISO and before we begin it says we need a internet connection and at least 5 GB of data and then we just need to click on download. So once you have downloaded the Windows 11 ISO, we need to go to this type Rufus. Just type Rufus, I'll mention it. So this is a creational media, I mean through which we will be creating a USB, a bootable USB pen drive. So once you type Rufus, you will find Rufus.ie. Create bootable USB drives for Windows 10, Windows 11 or any other version of Windows. So I'll click on that. And here uh, we get some options here. If we go to the middle of the page, we have got this, uh, the last update, Rufus 3.2 download. So we just need to go to the middle of the page and download the latest version. So I'll just click on that. And here we have this, uh, some ad. I'll just close it. And the moment I close it, I see the Rufus is downloaded and I'll try to open it and very soon it will ask us to say yes and the moment I click on that it doesn't require installation it will instantly open and the best part is it will automatically detect your pen drive when you have plugged in so I'm sure you have plugged in your pen drive if not then please plug in once you have plugged in you will select you need to select the pen drive from here the USB flash drive and here we have this boot selection and here we need to select disk or ISO image and here we have to give the location that where you have downloaded the ISO so we need to select the ISO which we have just downloaded you can go to downloads or wherever the location where you have saved it so I have saved it in my documents and I'll select my Windows 11 ISO and here we have this uh, standard Windows installation and partition scheme you need to check which partition scheme you have you can try GPT first and select UEFI the option I mean you don't have to make any changes right here and then we need to we don't have to mention anything you can mention here volume label I'll mention Windows 11 keep the file system NTFS and let me just check a few more options and we just need to click on let me just select it first it is already selected so you can check G which, uh, which partition scheme you have you can select MBR or GPT so it has uh, automatically detected GPT so I will only select GPT once you have done that you just need to click on start and it will create the bootable pen drive usb bootable pen drive for you so i'll just click on that it says customize windows installation 
remove requirement of 4 GB RAM. So you can you can check mark. This is very helpful because if you do not know whether your Windows 11, I mean your laptop or a desktop is supportable. I mean, does it support Secure Boot and it has TPM 2.0 or not? If you do not know, if you are not sure, just do the check mark. Remove requirement for 4 GB. And here you can check mark disable data collection, uh, set a local account like that, set regional options, uh, value as this user, and you can simply. So basically, you can do the check mark for all, and you just need to click on OK, and it will say all data on this device will be erased, and because your uh, your pen drive will be fresh, and it will remove everything and it will install windows 11 so that it become a bootable usb pen drive for windows 11 and you can install it on any pc even if it doesn't support tpm or secure boot so it might take five seven minutes maybe 30 minutes it depends on the computer if you have a better processor good uh, computer it might not take more than five to seven or ten minutes all right once you do that, now you can take your uh, USB flash drive and try to install to your any other PC you have got. I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. If yes, please leave a comment that you have liked and this tutorial has helped you. And if you need any, um, if you have any issues with the computer, you can let me know. I'll try my best to fix your problem. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.